Here we are, caught in the midst of a Russian revolution. What now? Wait till they shoot us too? We better leave Samara. The faster, the better. But where? We can't go back. Maybe West? Some of us know foreign languages. From the French city of Marseille, we could travel to America. It would have been wonderful. But there is a great war going on there. Machine guns, poison gas, tanks, airplanes. Millions of young boys die for nothing. We can't go west. Maybe north then? There are many big cities in the north, like Moscow, Novgorod, or St. Petersburg. A hardworking man can make a living there. But St. Petersburg is exactly where the revolution comes from. Russia is in turmoil. The Tsar abdicated, Bolsheviks are fighting with the Mensheviks, anarchists, and God knows who else. Neighbors kill neighbors, brothers kill brothers. It's chaos. North is where it started. It must be even worse there than here in Samara. But where can we go then? Only east. But what is there? in the east. It's so vast and we know nothing about it. At least we haven't heard of any war there. Then someone told us there was a train from here and all the way to the ocean. And so, we chose east. My father was told there was a camp there, and they had no place to go. I mean, they had to go somewhere, and that was a destination. But honestly, it is incredibly amazing to me that this is, means traveling all the way across Russia. We're not talking about, you know, a couple of hundred miles. We're talking about thousands of miles. And he's a teenager that, you know, he was able to do this, uh, having lost his whole family. People often ask, why, why would someone choose to travel uh, going east across Russia, because it's a very long distance from, let's say, Armenia, rather than go westward uh, for that trip. Well, the east is easy to explain, uh, because the Ottoman Empire was much stronger in the other part of Anatolia, and east seemed to be, uh, in those days, you know, people just didn't have maps even. They didn't know. They knew that that part is more safe. So that's the, that's probably explains why East. And, uh, well, Japan was quite exaggeration of that <laughs> East in a sense. <laughs> it's very, very too far East. However, Japan was, as I said, transit to the West, in fact. I think my grandfather, Anushavan, decided uh, that they needed to move quickly and that the best and safest route would be across the, the railway uh, through Russia rather than to try to brave going through the Western Front 
during World War I when Germany and Russia were fighting and the Russians were losing at that point, were not doing very well, it would have been very difficult for them to safely uh, get across to, to Europe. Every day they had to find enough food to eat, they had to learn the customs of the town, they had to, make, they had to find lodgings, you know, and they had to, I don't know if anybody spoke Russian, maybe there was somebody in the group that spoke Russian, they had, and if there wasn't, they had to make themselves understood. I mean, they really lived by their wits, you know, and that's why, you know, that is probably our greatest generation, right? They talk about the American generation that went through the Depression and fought in World War, World War II, where our greatest generation was these Armenians who survived the Armenian Genocide, trekked halfway across the world and started lives again and became very successful within a generation.